Welcome back to the show. Today we've been chatting with Brian Fraser about leadership and teamwork through the music of jazz. Now we'll be talking to Linda Naiman about creativity and teamwork. Thank you for being on the show, Linda. Thanks, GV. So, Linda, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into the, to the work of creativity. Well, I was lucky to be born into a family that encouraged me to be an artist. And I knew that I was an artist from the time I was two. Oh, my. <laughs> and uh, I studied fine art at a college in California yes. where I had the good fortune to be immersed in a program that allowed us to experiment, to explore, and where the process was more important than the finished product, so we could really let go. And um, so I have a background in fine art, okay. and I also have a background in graphic design for marketing communications. I also studied at Emily Carr. I always wanted to be an artist, but I was a bit worried that as an artist, I might end up being poor. Okay. Because there is that myth that, you know, the starving artists and so on. Yes. So I went to design school to earn a living as a designer. And I became very successful as a designer, working with some of the best companies in Vancouver and winning lots of awards and making lots of money. But at a certain point, I felt sort of barren. And I was wondering, what about my soul? Mm -hmm. And I also felt, well, in that sort of barrenness, I was feeling creatively blocked. And it occurred to me that in all the years I spent in art and design school, nobody ever taught me how to be creative. It's just a given that you're creative and then go produce. So I started to explore the process of creativity. And one of the first books that I encountered on the subject was The Artist's Way mm -hmm. by Julia Cameron. And I, when I opened up the book, when I first found it, I read, creativity is like a trout pond. And if you don't keep replenishing your, st your, your stock, it, it dries up. Okay. And so I went, oh. <laughs> I the don't light think, bulb. I don't think I'd be replenishing my stock. Yeah. And so I, I embraced beginner's mind because I know a lot of these, a lot of what she was writing about. But I immersed myself in a, in her 12-week self-guided journey into uncovering creative blocks and liberating my own creativity. And when I finished that, I felt a calling to then liberate creativity in other people. Okay. And because I had worked in business in, as a design consultant, I was used to working with business. I like working with executives. I think business is a creative enterprise, and I wanted to stay in that realm. So. Um, Along the way, I also wrote an article, or an essay on creativity and the meaning of work, which okay. got published in the World Business Academy. And that was the beginning of me starting to give creative, uh, get published and give creative workshops in organizations. And then I was invited to speak about creativity and to give workshops at a castle in Slovenia and to paint in front of a live audience, painting lot to a uh, symphony performance. And uh, I started to develop a body of work around art-based learning. I, was started to, I started pioneering art-based learning and how okay. it could apply to leadership and team. And, that's, uh, and that led to me being invited by Dr. Arthur Van Gundy a well-known author and researcher on business creativity okay. to write a book with him. And the book that we ended up collaborating on is called Orchestrating Collaboration at Work. Okay. And uh, so he invited me because of my background in, in art design and art space learning. So we pulled our two spheres of knowledge together to create this book. That's amazing, just amazing. Now, Linda, tell me a little bit about what is creativity? Let's just start with a very foundational, what does that mean? If I said, I am creative, or somebody is creative, what does that mean? That's a really important question. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have funny ideas about creativity. Yes. So I make a distinction between creativity, imagination, and innovation. Okay. So if you have a lot of ideas and you don't do anything with them, you're a, you have imagination, but you're not creative. 
Okay. You're only creative if you take an idea and you produce something with it. You take an idea, something new, you use your imagination and give it form and bring it into the world. So uh, when you, and when you get to the stage where you're bringing that idea into form, then you're also being innovative because innovation is the introduction to something new. So okay. creativity involves two processes in a way. It's first the, the conceptualizing, coming up with imaginative ideas, and then turning those ideas into reality. If you cannot turn the idea into reality, you're imaginative but not creative. A lot of people think that they're not creative if they're not a musician or an artist or a poet or a writer. But in fact, creativity is an ins intrinsic quality that we have in all of us. It's part of what makes us a human being. So everybody is creative, but we're all creative in different ways. Okay. Yeah, I must admit, I hear that all the time. And the majority of people I hear it from are, are possibly people in finance. And I, our, one of my family members is fine in finance, and I hear her saying all the time, oh, well, I don't have a creative bone in my body, and that's why I went into accounting, because two plus uh, two plus two is always equal four, right? And so that was her concept, that she's just not creative. Now, a question that I have is that there's obviously myths about creativity. So when you go into either an organization or with any individual that you're working with where you're getting them to um, express via creativity, creative form, regardless of what that form is, what sort of challenges do you encounter with people? Well, there's, there's uh, the legacy of management from the industrial age, which wanted everybody to conform and follow instructions. At one point, Ford said, I don't pay you to think. Right? And yet they have, their logo was, we have a bet, Ford has a better idea. So it's a bit of a paradox. But in the old days, if you came up with an idea, chances are you got fired. So there's a lot of fear about creativity in the workplace. Also, if you come up with an idea and it doesn't work, you fail, you risk being fired too. So uh, and, and one of the myths of creativity is uh, the myth of genius that you know, we learn about Michelangelo and the great composers, Mozart and so on, and we think, oh, you have to be a genius to be creative. But what we need to realize is that these people spent hours and hours and hours in their craft, developing their craft, developing a language before they even achieved mastery. Mm -hmm. So creativity takes time. We need to not only develop our ideas, but we also need to develop the craft, the, the craftsmanship of actually producing something. Yeah, so it sounds like a, a regular refinement of, of whatever it is, that whatever form you find that you're able to express that creativity. Right. And there's different kinds of creative people in organizations. Okay. So the, the creative person we think of most is the idea initiator. Okay. But we also, there aren't too many people who are the initiators of ideas. There's okay. more often we have people who elaborate ideas, okay. who know how to take an idea, run with it, expand on it, look at it from different angles, look at how, what, what some of the uses might be, where the value is, how to sell it. And, uh, and then there are people who know how to take that idea and then turn, it, turn that idea into action by, by harnessing the resources of the company, by bringing together the right people in the team, the right mix of talent, the financial resources. And then there's, it, then there's the person who knows how to work with rules and regulations and how, and how this, can, this idea or the innovation can work through the system by working within the rules and regulations of maybe government, but also the organization. So what you want is... Um